Reports indicate that the group of U.S. green berries accompanying Nigerian forces had just completed a meeting with local villagers and were walking back to join their convoy of vehicles. They were ambushed by a group of around 50 militants carrying small arms, machine guns and rocket-propelled grenades. The U.S. special forces took cover and returned fire. The assailants were members of a group calling itself the Islamic State in the Greater Sahara, an ISIL affiliate. French military helicopters and a private U.S. aviation contractor jointly carried out evacuations. Later, it was realized that Sergeant La David Johnson had been left behind. His body was recovered some 48 hours later. After a slow response by the president in publicly acknowledging their sacrifice, Donald Trump's since been subject to a storm of controversy over a condolence call he made to Sergeant Johnson's widow. He reportedly told her that Sergeant Johnson knew what he was signing up for. The White House has denied that the president behaved insensitively during that call. In all, four Green Berets were killed, two injured. Now members of Congress from both parties are demanding answers, with Senator John McCain, a former prisoner of war in Vietnam and the current chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, responsible for overseeing the military, says information on the attack has effectively been blocked by the administration. The incident has focused attention on U.S. operations there, with around 800 troops in that country alone. Questions are now being raised about whether those troops and others operating covertly in Africa have proper aerial support for evacuations in what has become the deadliest assault on U.S. combat troops since President Trump took office. The U.S. Defense uh, Secretary General James Mattis says they're investigating now and say, he says we're not complacent and we're going to do better. Daniel Wrenches, CGTN, Washington.